Are you taking Praxis Elementary Mathematics Content Knowledge Test 7813, Place Values and Decimals? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Tom, and I am a test prep expert here at study.com, and I will walk you through some of the types of problems you may see on the test. Let's get started. Mr. Smith asks his students to arrange the following numbers from least to greatest. We have negative 12, 3 fourths, 3, 5 halves, and 0.17. Which of the following principles should students follow in arranging numbers in increasing order? So our choices are negative numbers are always smaller than positive numbers, fractions are smaller than decimal numbers, decimal numbers are smaller than fraction, and all fractions are smaller than whole numbers. Well, there are three statements on here that are not necessarily true. The first case here is fractions are smaller than decimal numbers. Well, that's not necessarily true. So for example, 3 fourths is actually greater than 0.25 and showing students that there are counterexamples that where fractions are greater than decimals. Same thing, decimal numbers are smaller than fractions, and we can easily make decimal numbers that are bigger than fractions. So we want to teach students that decimals are just a way to write a fraction. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean one's bigger than the other. Same thing for the bottom choice. All fractions are smaller than whole numbers. That's not necessarily true. So the only principle that is true is that negative numbers are always smaller than positive numbers. So that would be the correct answer. A teacher gives a sample number, 193.5647. The teacher asks the students one by one to give a digit from the sample number and state its place value. Which of the following responses from the students is accurate? So the first response is the digit 4 is in the hundredths place value. Well, if we look at our digit 4, as we move to the right of the decimal, we go from tenths to hundredths to thousandths. So 4 is actually in the thousandths place. The next possible choice, the digit 6 is in the tenths place value. Well, actually, the digit 6 is in the hundredths place value. The digit 1 is in the millions place value. So if we go and look at our digit 1, as we move to the left of the decimal, we go from 1s to the tens to the hundreds. So the 1 is actually in the hundredths place. And the correct answer here is the digit 7 is in the ten thousandths place value. So again, we go tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and then the seven is in the ten thousandths place value. That's the correct answer. Which of the following is the answer when 17,263 is rounded to the nearest thousand? All right, so is the answer 20,000, 17,300, 17,260, or 17,000? All right, so we want to find which place value is the thousands place. So if we look at our original number, 7 is in the thousands place. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the number to the right of the 7. Since that number is less than 5, that means we're going to round down our number. So the 2 is less than 5, so that means instead of rounding up to 18,000, we're actually going to round down to 17,000. A teacher asks their students random questions about rounding. Which of the following student responses is able to provide a correct answer? If 43,203 is rounded to the nearest hundred thousandths, the answer is 43,000. If 18,372 is rounded to the nearest hundred thousands, the answer is 20,000. If 789 is rounded to the nearest thousands, the answer is 1,000. If 3,789 is rounded to the nearest ten thousands, the answer is four thousands. All right, so let's work through our answer choices. So the first answer choice, if 43,203 is rounded to the nearest hundred thousands, the answer is 43,000. Well, actually, if it's rounded to the nearest hundred thousand, since we're at 43,203, we're looking at the four, that would be the number to the right of the hundred thousands place. So the answer is actually going to be either zero rounding down, or it's going to be a hundred thousand rounding up. So that means 43,000 cannot be the answer for that, so that's eliminated. The second choice, if 18,372 is rounded to the nearest hundred thousands, the answer is 20,000. So again, rounding to the nearest hundred thousands, we're looking at the ones digit. So the answer here would be zero because we would be rounding down. 
Next choice, if 789 is rounded to the nearest thousands, the answer would be 1,000. So if we look at 789, the thousands place is to the left of the 7. So that means 7 is the number we're looking at, and that is bigger than 5. So that means we're going to round up the 0 to 1, and then we would get three zeros after. So this would actually be the correct answer here. That concludes our video. Praxis Elementary Mathematics Content Knowledge Test 7813, Place Values and Decimals. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. And for more practice problems and personalized study plans, please visit study.com. Thanks for watching.